Hello Aqua friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole and today we're going to do these beautiful bells. So I'm going to start off by painting the background first and we're going to do that wet on wet and I'm not wetting the bells. Notice that I'm just going to go around the bells and you do want to get that really good and saturated because we're going to add lots of blue colors here. So the blues that I'm going to use is a peacock blue. And uh, if you have uh, the thalo blue yellow shade, that would also be very similar. And then I'm using uh, Prussian blue for the darker hues. So just getting this very light blue you do want to build up your colors slowly now i do kind of want a vignette appearance to the background and i want it darker along the edges and i'm just painting very loosely some uh, branch shapes And notice how beautifully bright and cheery this blue is. <laughs> Now I'm coming in with this darker blue, uh, the Prussian blue, and I'm going to add that in the mix. I'm going to give a little um, tap tap on the brush there to get some watercolor splotches is always a, a fun thing to do and adds a little bit of drama to the background. <laughs> Okay, so I'm taking a dry fluffy brush and I was just trying to blend the background a little bit more. I have a lot of paint on there, but it didn't spread that much. And so if you have a dry brush, you can just uh, brush along the edges that you're trying to blend more. Now, before it dries, I wanted to make sure that I don't have anything pooling around the edges. Dipping my hands in clean water, I'm making blooms on purpose. This adds a lot of texture to the background and just kind of gives it this magical look. I am going to let that whole thing dry before I go on to the next layer, which is going to be our bells. So for the bells, I'm going to paint them one at a time. I'm going to wet the bell first and starting off with my peacock blue. I'm adding uh, a layer of that all over the bell. Using the exact same colors. So it's a very simple palette. Notice I'm just using the two colors, the Prussian blue and the peacock blue. So shaping the bell, giving it a little bit of shape by adding the, the darker colors. It's transitioning from, you know, a shadow side to the light side. So getting the rim, putting in these darker colors while it's still wet, it's going to blend nicely. So in order for me to paint the other bells, I do have to dry that one because uh, I'll end up making blooms and they'll run into one another and I just want really nice clean lines. Second bell, third bell, same thing. It's going to be worked the same way, starting off with your light blue and then adding the darker blues.
adding the rings on the top. So drawing my second one so that I could get that last one painted. With my calligraphy brush, I'm adding in some branch details. So there's a very fine point to my brush and it's great for making tree textures like this. Now I did feel like I wanted to soften the background further. I found that I needed to add a little bit more darkness and a little more color where it's light. So I'm wetting the whole thing. Now wetting the background will soften it. Um, so if you find your lines too harsh or your colors not mixing well together, that's a tip for you. I also need to add some very dark colors around these bells in order for them to pop out and be the main attraction. And notice just doing this has really made a difference in the painting. So if there's something you don't like about your painting, a lot of the times you need to ask yourself, is there enough contrast? Do I need to add a different value? Do my values need to change? And in this instance, I did need to change the values here in order for those bells to pop and for it to look good. Increasing that vignette appearance around the edges with my Prussian blue. Tilting your board will help the paint blend better. So now that that is dry, I'm lifting some pine needles and this is really giving it a nice three-dimensional look. So to do this, I'm using a stiff angle brush and you just need a damp brush and a piece of paper towel. And when you rub uh, your lines for your pine needles, you just further lift with your piece of paper towel and you get these very nice light impressions here. Once you're happy with the amount of pine needles that you have, you can go ahead and let that whole thing dry and remove your tape. You guys just created a masterpiece. Congratulations.
Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.